Hello, Washington City. Mayor Staley here. Uh, water continues to be on my mind, even though I am really enjoying this uh, beautiful uh, spring weather. Um, that means that the state legislature has recently finished their session, and during that session, they actually passed a record number of water conservation bills, including uh, allocation of over $500 million in spending. You know, uh, water infrastructure it has been important to us historically, and it will continue to be important to us going forward. I, I think of the local reservoirs, and particularly Sand Hollow, which is incidentally celebrating uh, its 20th uh, birthday. Sand Hollow continues to be uh, a really a lifeline for us in terms of being able to, uh, to gather that runoff from snow, and we were able to treat and distribute the water locally. An interesting fact about, a few interesting facts about Sand Hollow, it contains 17 billion gallons of surface water, and it sits on top of a 98 billion gallon uh, Navajo sandstone aquifer. It's also um, the number one state park and contributes millions of dollars to our economy locally. So uh, we're, we're very lucky to have uh, Sand Hollow. Additionally, with water, um, it's April. So for another month, please don't water more than three times uh, per week and drip up to two times per week. If you want more information on water conservation, please visit wcwcd.org. Uh, now, touching on roads just a little bit, Washington Dam Road has been a very big project for us. We're extending, widening, and improving all the underground utilities along that. Uh, I really appreciate those who live in that area, those who are traveling on that road. I really appreciate their patience. Uh, we're making progress. It's going to be nice, but I just ask for continued patience through the next month or two while we while we finish that project. Also, another interesting thing, you know, roads are a big investment for a community. And so we, um, we spend a lot of money on maintaining and keeping those roads nice. One thing that you'll see happening now over uh, April and into May is a slurry sill project. In fact, we will uh, lay down 501,694 square yards of type two slurry. And all of that will be in various neighborhoods north of the Virgin River. That doesn't even include this time around. It doesn't include uh, uh, roads south of the Virgin River. Those will be on a future schedule. And lastly, I just want to touch on some of the events that are happening this time of year. On April 16th, the Lions Club is having their Easter Candy Dash. That's 10 a.m. at Veterans Park. From April 20th to April 23rd is the uh, Washington County Fair. Visit washcofair.net to find more information about that. And of course, our birthdays coming up, Cotton Days, is going to be celebrated from April 25th through May 1st. Uh, visit cottondays.org for more information there. And lastly, on May 7th, for the first time ever outside of Kona, Hawaii, the Ironman World Championships will be held right here in Washington County, Utah, Southern Utah. So we're really excited to host them. In fact, I'll be uh, carrying on the tradition of a free uh, mayor's pancake breakfast. So if you want to join me on May 7th, just behind the police station, I'll be serving breakfast along with the city council from 8 to 10 a.m. Um, but until then, it seems like the most fitting reply or sign-off is aloha.